Today we're on a panel uh, with QFFD, Qatar Fund for Development, to discuss basically the sports for development programs and impacts in the long term in the MENA region, mainly focused on the on the MENA region. Um, obviously, you know, Generation Amazing was born out of the FIFA World Cup, uh, Qatar 2022, and the idea is that we have used sports, mainly football, but now looking at other sports generally, to kind of look at how we can develop youth and underprivileged communities and build capacity with coaches and communities around the world, and mainly, again, leveraging sports as an amazing platform to unite, to bring people together, to promote values, to promote inclusion. Sports is a great tool in order to develop tomorrow's leaders, so we use it as a hook to improve academic performance and to teach life skills and to teach leadership skills for young leaders. We believe that those are going to go on to solve the big problems that the world is dealing with nowadays. The Generation Amazing is in 40 countries around the world. We've developed kind of programs over the last 12 years. We've impacted 1 million lives of young boys and girls in these 40 countries. And one of the main things that we hear all the time is mainly on kind of the criticism around mainly the development agencies coming from the global north north is that they come with a program that's prescribed and most of the time it's not culturally sensitive or adapted to the context of that community. It's not sustainable in that way or form. That's what we do at Generation Amazing is that we always do a deep needs analysis to understand the social issues and based on that we design the interventions and the programs. This forum for me is really important when it comes to creating a space for collaboration around the using sports to achieve sustainable development goals. Here on the panel would be, will be Mr. Nasr Al Khoury from Generation Amazing. We collaborated together as an implementing partner for the festival that they did back in 2022 uh, during the World Cup here in Qatar. And now we're carrying on that legacy uh, from the Qatar World Cup, bringing it to Morocco, doing a festival actually next week uh, for girls in Morocco. So to me, that's the main thing, creating this kind of space for uh, different stakeholders to come together and uh, develop this sector. The Doha Forum is an amazing platform. You know, you see kind of a lot of topics and people coming together from different parts of the world, from very diverse backgrounds. I think, you know, today Doha is the hub for sports, you know, post World Cup. A lot of other mega sporting events in the pipeline and ha that have been delivered in the past. Again, it's, it's an amazing to, you know, it's an amazing opportunity to be able to talk about some of the work that has been done from Doha, but also like all these partners coming together, talking about, you know, sharing best practice and, and kind of influence the sports for development sector generally and I think there's a lot of best practice and a lot of sort of experiences that we have that are unique to this re region that now we can share with the rest of the world.